first Doctor Who made me afraid of gas masks, angels, and shadows. And now... Bubble Wrap. Hey everybody, Mark Reactor here. Uh, this is just going to be a quick review of uh, Doctor Who, Series 11, Episode 7, Kerblam! So, um... I don't normally do reviews, uh, so I don't know how exciting this is going to be. Um, just wanted to share a couple of my thoughts uh, on the episode as far as what I think of the season so far. Um, I've been hearing a lot of people talking about the lack of a good villain, and I will have to agree with that. Uh, I agree with the fact that as of right now, we haven't had a really good, solid villain yet. Um, I think the closest we came to that, as far as my opinion goes, is the Stenza. Um, because, really, if you think about some of the other aliens and things that we came across so far, their motives turned out actually not to be really all that bad. Um, as far as the Pating, uh, it wasn't really trying to hurt people, they were saying. It basically was just trying to survive. So I don't think the Pating was necessarily an evil creature. I think it was just a creature that did what it needed to do to survive. And unfortunately, there were some casualties along that, along the way. Um, and then looking back at the last episode, uh, Demons of the Punjab, uh, the aliens there turned out not to be uh, evil, hostile aliens either. Um, so the only one that I feel has been actually evil so far has been the Stenza. Um, and it'd be cool to see them come back. I think that that one actually has a lot of potential. Um, but... Yeah, I think that as far as villains, I think that they really need to, you know, still bring something really good as far as a proper villain goes. Uh, even with uh, this episode with Kerblam, there wasn't really... I guess the main villain, you could say, was... Uh, what was his name? Charlie. Uh, because in reality, the robots were just programmed by him, you know, to do what they were doing. Um, but in reality, I guess he was the real villain of the episode. Um, if you see me looking down, it's because I have notes on my on my uh, bed here that I'm sitting on uh, that I took when I watched the show. Um, other thoughts. I, I love Jody's... Uh, humor. I think she's doing a really great job as the doctor. I just think that the writing is kind of holding her back, I guess I should say, uh, from doing some really awesome doctor stuff. Uh, we haven't had a really good doctor speech from her yet. Um, she's had some good moments, but I'm still waiting for that one defining speech. You know, that that defining speech, like I think of uh, Matt Smith, when he had, for example, the uh, the speech from the Rings of Akatan. That's one of my all-time favorite Doctor Who scenes. Uh, the Rings of Akatan speech is one of my absolute favorites. Um, or Tennant, when he's talking about uh, the rules of time are mine and they will obey me, or the laws of time are mine and they will obey me. Um, and that's from Waters of Mars, I believe that was. Uh, you know, and then Capaldi had a few really good speeches. Uh, the war speech in the Zygon inversion. Um, and just, you know, I'm just waiting for that really good defining speech for Jody. I don't think she's had quite that moment yet, and it would be really nice to see that. Anyway, am I rambling? I'm sorry. Um, as far as this episode goes, uh... In the very beginning, once again, they showed the TARDIS flying through the time vortex, um, or wormholes, or whatever you want to call it. I think that is a really cool effect. Um, I know some people I've seen talking about it say that they don't really like it, or they think it looks kind of 
cheesy or whatever, I think it looks really cool. Uh, I really like that effect. Um, and also, as far as the robots in this episode, the Kerblam Man and um, what are they, the teammates, I think they called the ones in the factory. Uh, they kind of remind me of either the, uh, the booth guys from The Beast Below and the angels, the mechanical angels from uh, Voyage of the Damned when they were on the mock Titanic. Uh, so it's really giving me that kind of a vibe. I'm getting a lot of Matt Smith vibes from Jody. Um, I don't know if it's just because he's my favorite doctor and I'm noticing him more than other things, but I'm really noticing a lot of Matt Smith vibes uh, with with her character, with her version of the doctor. Um, and I thought it was funny how uh, when they first got to the factory and they were given the welcoming speech, uh, they were told very specifically not to climb on the conveyor belts. And I was thinking to myself, they're making such a strong point of this. I'm sure that at some point in time, somebody's going to end up climbing onto one of the conveyor belts. And boy, was I ever right. They had quite the ride on that conveyor belt, didn't they? That was such an awesome scene. Um, I think out of all the episodes so far, this one reminds me most of Doctor Who. It felt the most Doctor Who-ish to me, if that makes any sense. Um, but that, yeah, that, ep that, uh, es escalator, that, uh, conveyor belt ride with the three of them, uh, was just amazing. It was so awesome. I loved it. That was, that was one of my favorite scenes of this, of this whole episode. Um, and I really liked Kira, uh, the main female character. I thought she was great. Uh, but in typical fashion, as they've been doing with, all the cool people so far this season, they kill them off for some strange reason. Um, and I was kind of upset that they did that with her. Uh, I thought she was really cool. And it was just sad to see uh, that she got killed off. Um, what other things here? Oh, Kira and Charlie. How adorable of a couple would they have made? I mean, that was so awesome. He was so stricken by her and so smitten. And I just thought that they could have played on that a little bit more um, to make his, uh, his grief at the end of seeing her die a little bit stronger. You know, because this was someone that he had fallen in love with. And he just kind of seemed to brush off her death fairly easily. You know, I think they could have done a little bit more to develop that relationship between them and make her death a little bit more impactful for him. Um, there were a couple things that really made me squee, so to say, uh, kind of hearkening back to the whole Matt Smith era. Uh, first off, when um, they were leaving the office and the doctor says, Laters! And then she turns around and says, Oh, I'm never saying that again. I'm sticking with goodbye. That had a very strong Matt Smith vibe to it. Um, and I guess David Tennant did stuff like that too. Um, but then then there was the callback when they were getting into that little cubby hole or whatever and the doctor says, Oh, by the way, speaking of wasps did i ever tell you about agatha christie and that was such an awesome callback to the unicorn and the wasp episode i thought that was so cool i just, i just like i just giggled with glee uh at that moment as i'm sure many many people have did i was just like oh that was so awesome anyway um one of the other things that i've noticed that i really like especially in this episode but one of the ongoing things that i've noticed throughout these episodes, uh, but like I said, I think it was really, really strong in this episode, was the whole concept of teamwork. It's not just the doctor being the one that saves the day. Uh, it just seems like everybody is having a hand in doing something to help solve the problem. And I think in this episode, 
that was brought out more so than any other episode. And I really like that. I think that's really cool. Um, but other than that, I think everything else was just as well, just as good. Um, overall, it was a great, great episode. Uh, so let me know in the comment section what you guys thought if you actually made it this far into the video and haven't fallen asleep or turned it off because you think this is very boring because as I'm doing it now I think it's boring but anyway uh, I just wanted to give my thoughts on this episode it's actually my favorite one so far so uh, again let me know what you guys thought in the comment section and uh, please feel free to like share and most of all subscribe to my channel um, I haven't been putting a lot of stuff out lately I'm going to be trying to get more out it's just difficult for me because I don't actually have a computer, so every video that I make is actually done on my cell phone. So it's a little bit laborsome to do it on a cell phone, and this the quality also suffers from that too. So, but anyway, um, so feel free to subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos as well, and let me know again what you thought of this episode in the comment section below. And again, thanks for watching, and until next time.